Hi, I'm George Chahanovich. I'm the Chief Instructor and Founder of the Kinshinkai Martial Arts. We are based squarely on the Gorja Kensha Martial Arts of the late great Otsuka Tadahiko or Sensei. I was fortunate to be there when Gorja Kensha came to Australia in late 1973. So I've been there through a lot of change because things haven't stayed the same and have been fortunate to train with the seniors of Gotcha Kencha and with uh, Otsuka Sensei himself. I recently, or we recently, because one of my seniors helped me write it, have started issuing our own textbook, Kinchinkai Karate do Kyohon, and as a result of that I've had a few inquiries about Otsuka Sensei's Gotcha Kencha Karate do Kyohon, or textbook, and what's still available what the differences are in the editions. So here I'm just going to refer to the editions I know about, and there may be some I don't. Um, starting with the original book, this is what we affectionately call the Brown Book. This came out in 1977. I think I got my copy in 1978 when I achieved Shodan, and uh, it, uh, I love this thing, I'll keep it forever. Um, it is a binder with 13 booklets in it, and each booklet is held in a spine halfway through the booklet, which I'm not going to show you, but uh, yeah, there are little spines. It's very high quality paper. It's starting to be yellow a little bit here, but basically this has been around for a long time, 40 something years. Each chapter has um, a little heading and these diagrams. Um, the diagrams from memory, uh, if I'm not wrong, were done by Otsuka Sensei's mother. Um, so, yeah, she also did some older Chinese calligraphy for him. So this covers way more than Godru. It covers, um, in, in particular, the uh, Shorin Ryu of Higa Yuchoku. Um, and I'll talk more about Higa Yuchoku uh, a little bit later. So this is still available second hand. I looked it up today. I found one for $500 US, a lot of money. In the mid to late 90s, when that wasn't available, Goju Kencha Australia got permission to reissue it. And a um, printing lecturer named John, big bushy beard and hair, uh, he's a lovely man. If you're watching John, you did a great job on this. It's a similar binder here, a black binder, um, and the biggest difference is it's much bigger. So I found this much easier to see things in the photographs, much, much easier. So I've used it, actually I've got little um, tabs here to um, uh, find out where I am. And I thought this would be the last version, so I actually bought two copies. I didn't realise there's going to be a reissue. So that's an excellent uh, reproduction. And last I saw that was selling for $300 plus new. I don't know if it's still available. Um, then 2008, I just got back from training in Japan with Otsuka Sensei, and he sent me a DVD. The DVD is of Higa Yuchoku's Shorinru practices that Otsuka Sensei had adopted and been influenced by. And that DVD is actually included in the back of the reissue of Goju Kencha Karate do Kyohon. So this is the reissue. It's released in 2008 from memory. It is a beautifully produced book. It is contained in its own little protective box. It then has protective paper on the outside. And it even has a wonderful little old style bookmark here. Um, so it's beautiful. Inside the pages are um, a little bit yellow, which is wonderful. It makes it look a bit aged, even though it's new. And the reproduction is very clear again in the rescanning and the repicturing of stuff. And it's exactly the same with little, um, I'm not going to show them the same, start to each um, section has uh, the same characters and drawings as the originals. The difference with this is, um, there are some changes. So, obviously, when Otsuka Sensei did this, there would have been a lot of changes in his practice after that. Um, and that's one of the dangers of just taking this as textbook gospel truth, and that's the way it has to be. It's just not the way it works in martial arts or in life. He didn't, at the same time, change a lot in this book <coughs> in terms of the detail, but a few significant changes are the most significant. In the originals, he had the white crane kata hakusho, kakfa, which was handed down 
from Gorkenki. He's left that out of the new one. He also had a lot of detail on Sun Shinkata. That has reduced. However, in this new book, he's got a first chapter that covers his great passion of his later life, which was the Bubishi. And he did the um, first translation from memory of the Gotokenshua, of the Gojuru one into modern Japanese, which wasn't easy. Um, that's a story for another time. But he has um, in the first chapter, particularly the 48 diagrams of Bubishi, the 32 di diagrams, solo diagrams, he said, preceded and influenced the Bubishi ones possibly. Um, and that, that's in there as an extra. The other thing that he features in here is a detailed section on Haporen Kata, which is the White Crane Foundation Kata. And he really, really liked Haporen, um, and um, he was adding it to his curriculum last time he communicated with me about curriculum. Um, and he's actually um, just excited about it. He said it had Sunshin principles, but he saw it as being actually uh, for what he uh, thought better than Sanchin. Um, so, quite a bit of detailing of that in there. So, there you have the three different versions. I can't remember if I said, but this is available new still. I looked up today, so I'm selling it for $260 US. I think Shoredo might still have it. They had it before. And um, I was very, um, actually, this means a lot to me because Otsuka Sensei, prior to his passing, had that set aside for me, and my wife picked it up when she visited Tokyo not long after his passing. Um, so yeah, if you want to get it, just look around, um, there might be a few other um, places that are selling it. So there are the three versions, I hope this has been of some help to people, um, and thank you for your attention. Okay. One correction, without redoing the whole video, everything I said about Haporen was correct, except for, it's actually not included in this revised Gojikensha Karate do Kyohon. It's actually in one of Otsuka Sensei's Bubishi related texts. So my apologies for that.